I'm Megan McGuire, president of the Junior League of Tampa, and we are lucky enough to have Dave Winnick from Just Be Woodworks here today for a merchant highlight. Thank you for joining us, Dave. Thanks Appreciate it. Um, I'd love to just get right into it. Can you tell me a little bit about Just Be Woodworks? Well, uh, we, uh, me and my wife have a Just Be Woodworks business where we do a lot of woodworking. I was a former woodworking instructor for 35 years and engineering teacher. And uh, after I was done teaching, I decided I wanted to do something that I love to do, which is woodworking. And we were on the beach one day and uh, eating a sub prior to having these tables. And I bit into my sub and a tomato squeezed out onto my belly. And it was really gross. And I, my, hope, my wife says, you know, really, you should just try to make a table or something like that. We could, you know, wouldn't gross us out. So that's how these began. So the first table we made uh, didn't have the drink holder, didn't have a lot of the things that these have. It's just a piece of wood on a steak. I love it. So, so born out of the situation that you were in yourself. Right. It, started, yeah. it just started getting better and better and better. I love it. Yeah. So yeah. Well, I know you've been um, a merchant um, at the holiday gift market before. Yes. So how long have you been, um, it, you know, participating with the holiday gift market? This is our second year. Brilliant. Yes, yeah, second well, year. We moved back. here two years ago, and this is our second year. Ah, I love <laughs> in that. In fact, you guys were the first show we did uh, in Florida when we moved here. Ah, uh, well, we're honored. That's yeah, exciting. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot of fun. So when when you talk about the business too, how long has um, just be been open? Uh, this is our third year. Brilliant. Yeah, our third year. So, and it's, it, you know, with COVID, it was an interesting year. Mm. So, but I hopefully think things are, will be starting to look and pick up again. I feel like people are ready to get outside. I believe And so. this is a fun way to get outside and, and enjoy your time even more. For yes, sure. Is, Definitely. For sure. Yeah. This is exciting. You know, some of the advantages to having a beach table or, you know, I call them a portable table because you can pretty much take them anywhere, um, is that... First off, they're a piece of artwork that you can actually take with you. All my boards are hand carved and hand designed and each one's individual. They all have resin filling in them. Uh, and in the resin, when the sun hits them, uh, they actually shimmer and sparkle and they're like a piece of artwork that works for you. Uh, also, it comes with a solar charger and a Bluetooth speaker. Uh, this game here comes with game pieces that uh, my, I made so that when you play your backgammon board, you just take it to the beach, pop your stand off, set it up, and you're ready to play. And I have three different games. I have uh, cribbage, I have backgammon, and I have a beach trip game that I designed myself. So this is not painted, it's actually carved and filled with resin. So it's great, it keeps you organized, it comes with shoulder straps and two bottle openers on the bottom so that you don't have to wake the person sleeping next to you up just to open up one of your favorite drinks. So. Hi, thank you so much for joining us. My name is Laurel Waits. I'm a member of the Junior League of Tampa and a past holiday gift market chair. I'm here today with Dave and Hope from Just Be Woodworks talking about one of the exciting products that we're gonna have at our market this year. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the price range um, of your boards? Yeah, so yeah. Uh start out right around just below $200, okay? And then they go up, uh, some of the ones that take me hours and hours to carve out are a little more expensive, up to 275 Okay. What's, what's so unique about your tables too? Well, each one's unique. Each one's designed uh, by me and my wife. And then after they're designed, we then put them on a CNC carver. So the whole process is unique. And then after they're carved, we then fill them with resin, different colors of resin. And uh, so the resin, you know, when the sun hits all the different colors of resin, it sparkles and shimmers when it's out on the beach. Each glass uh, holder or drink holder has resin in it as well, so oh, wow. it won't into the wood. And then on the back, where all the brains are of the product, you have a sand steak, and then you have a Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth speaker, you have a solar charger. Oh, wow. And then once you get into the beach, of course, you're your phone will overheat if it's left in the sun. Right. So what you have is an insulator. This wooden box is an insulator. It'll insulate your phone from overheating. So you take this, you slide your phone in, you pull your, your sand stake out, all right? It is cut at an angle on the bottom. So as you push it into the sand, you just spin, spin it, it and it works its way down in and then tamper the sand on top. And then just pop this down on top of your table and uh, you pull your, Solar charger out, you slide your phone in. Wow. And then you 
flip it over. Solar charger's like so. As the sun beats on your solar charger, it keeps everything charged the entire day. So when you leave, you still have a fully charged phone, fully charged speaker, and a fully charged. So the next day when you come out, same thing. So you never lose your charge. So by placing this on top, everything that you have behind you, so the brains behind here, mm -hmm. will get energy and be, and be charging throughout the day. Exactly. That's... So the whole system, well, that reason that, that, how that happened was we went out with our phones and we were using our phones to listen to our music. And about an hour later, Done. it's dead yeah. or it overheated. And so then we, that's when we started doing the research for the different things. And these things are great because they're completely waterproof. This is completely waterproof. This is waterproof. All my metal on here is stainless steel and the PVC. So these are great. I also have stands um, that we sell if you choose to get those as well. The stands are great because you can use the actual table anywhere because it completely folds yeah. together. I'll show you how that is done. So you just pull this pin. Simple as that. Slide this out. This comes apart. Oh wow. Okay, so that you, easy. That easy. So when you put your table together, to go home, you just take these two pieces. This is light. Slide them together and then pin it. Well, and so I'm curious too, you mentioned beach, but mm -hmm. this sounds like if you've got these stands and, and with the material, you could put this in a pool. Swimming pool, yes. Could, That's what it's okay. made for. My daughter asked me to build her one for a swimming pool because she has it's like enough to have a pool in her backyard. So that's how these, and then it's adjustable. Um, you know, these are examples here. It goes up to, I think it's three feet tall. Oh, and wow. that's great. it goes down to uh, 15 inches. So 15 to three feet. Okay. So you can use it for a Adirondack chair. Yep. Uh, you can use it for a dining chair. Also in heights, it comes apart like so. All you do is you pop your shoulder straps open. Remove the base. Remove the base. Set it on the ground. Remove your stake. Pull the pin. And you have one inside. You then take the one with the holes. It has three different holes. It's six different heights because it's reversible. So you can re it has six different heights of adjustment. So basically you're gonna take your stand and it presses down in and you will align this to whatever height you want. So if I want it to be at that point, all the way down. And then if I want, I can just flip this over and I get three different heights. So I just put it in and then I'll set my pin. So I line up my hole, like so. Pop the pin in. Clip it shut like so. And now your table is, it sets in like so. Drops down on, and you now have your tables ready to be used. On the backs of each table, there's a wooden box. This wooden box acts, has two purposes. It's to hold your solar charger when you're traveling. And it's also a place where you put your phone in a wooden, which wood is an insulator, so that insulator will protect your phone from overheating throughout the day. So now it's protected from the sun, solar charges on the top, charging your table and your whole device runs itself all day. Okay, so you you, you briefly highlighted that we can use these on a boat. Yeah. Can you share a little bit about how that works? Yeah, um, there's a lot of different kind of adapters okay. that we have. I brought one with me, but I also just use them as on the stands the stand? on the boat as well, okay. um, depending upon how rough the water is. But they also, um, we've designed a, so this would be your typical rod holder that would be in the side of a boat, okay? And some of them are on angles, Yep. some of them are flat. All right, so what we've come up with is if um, most of these uh, rod holders have a rod right through the bottom, okay? So what happens is these have ah, four slots cut in. Beautiful. So if you take this, you slide this down in, and you just rotate it until it clicks. It's now safe. And then you can rotate this to whatever. Oh. So if this is on an angle, you square it up and you crank it, tighten it up. And then if the table's flat, flat. Yeah, and if okay. it's flat, it just goes up, crank it, and it's tight. Oh, beautiful. And then this just sits right on it, like so. So you so can rotate or do it. Whatever angle. How 
nice is that? Yeah, super nice. Got it? Perfect. That's beautiful. Yes, literally you can use this beach, pool, boat. I mean, anytime you're outside, even just if you go up, if you're on the porch. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot it's of wonderful. people buy them yeah. just for the porch. Yeah. Uh, they put it between their chairs, they have their little drink holder, they're out enjoying the uh, wonderful Florida weather. Yeah. And um, they just love it when the sun sets right on the board and the boards are shimmering. Well, I know we have a few here, but, you know, there are some, you know, options that, you know, I, I think with the, the waves and the water, but you talked about being able to customize as well. Yes, all of my tables are customizable. So I have a lot of clients that uh, have seen me at the shows and they, what they want is their own design. Yeah. And so it's a very simple process. Um, I usually send about three to five different designs to them after they tell me what they want. And then I send it to them you know, through email and they will say, you know, I like this one, but can you put this on, you know, one of the different, so they basically combine different things or they just say, um, I'd rather you do this. And they send me a piece of their clip art. Oh, beautiful. And I take their clip art, throw it into the design. I know we talked about how all these boards are customizable. How long is the lead time to get these ships? So if someone purchases it at our market, will they have it in time for the holidays? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, because um, we usually, we can complete a table within two weeks and sometimes less than that. Um, so, and of course many we have on hand, but mm -hmm. on our website there are probably at least 150 different designs. So you can start there and kind of figure out what you want and then go from there and, and of course like a customized one we would begin from scratch mm -hmm. so but usually a two-week window is yeah about two weeks it yeah. takes there's a lot to the process right so yeah they can also take one they've already done i've done this many times and if they wanted to say you know uh happy wedding or whatever the wedding date or something like that mm -hmm. or the person's name or i could carve it right in mm -hmm. to, so, so many options right. to make this customizable that's great and can um, Dave, can you tell me a little bit about the materials that you use to make one of these boards? Okay, yes. So all my tables are made of fine hardwoods. Some are exotic hardwoods. I don't know. A lot of people don't know the difference between the woods, mm -hmm. um, but I do. Um, and this one right here, for example, uh, when the sun hits it, it becomes a chocolate brown. Uh, it looks really dark right now, but when the sun hit it, hits it, it's, it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful now, but when the sun hits it, it's extremely beautiful. Um, and this is from, this is Peruvian walnut. So it's, a, it's an imported wood from Peru. This uh, here is called curly maple. All right, so when you look at this, you can see different waves in it, and that's the, the curl in the wood. Um, it's a beautiful wood, it's solid hardwood, very, very dense. This is called ambrosia maple. And ambrosia maple, uh, you can't see it from here, but up here you can see the ambrosia. Mm -hmm. And over here in front, and on top of the uh, boat, on the Buccaneers table, you can see the, uh, the that streak in it. Mm -hmm. Those were caused by ambrosia beetles back in, the, you know, the late, a long time ago. Uh -huh. They crawled in there and they died. And uh, they, they put the um, streaks into the wood. It's pretty unique. And is that part of the um, option to customize it? Is it a type of wood that you can select? Yes, yeah. I Normally, on my shop, I have three or four or five different types of woods. But if somebody says, you know, like any of those woods, I want one out of whatever, uh -huh. sassafras, yeah. then I would try to make that happen okay. for the person. Great. And size, too. You don't and size. Kind of vary on their size. So tell well. me a little so bit like, about the sizing, then. Yeah, so some people on a boat, they want something a little larger mm -hmm. um, than you would need to take to the beach but would also be usable if they were to um, sandbar, you know, stop that on boat and a sandbar and be able to put it right into the, into the water on the sandbar too. So, but some people want larger ones, they want their, maybe their boat name on it, maybe they want more cup holders, less cup holders, so. Right. So options are endless. Yeah, we normally <laughs> start around 16 by 20. Okay. And then we go 16 by 22, and then we go 16 by 24. And if somebody says, well, can you make one, you know, 18 by 30, of course we can. Mm -hmm. But for us, when we do our shows and we're traveling around, we try to keep them within that size because if you get too big and you're carrying it to the beach, right. you know, you're going to have yeah. way too much weight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just love all the detail that you guys have put into these boards and really allow it to be customizable. All right. Thank you guys so much for coming today. You can find Just Be Woodworks on online marketplace on holidaygiftmarket.org.